Twilight Sparkle trotted through Ponyville, her head turning back and forth as if she was looking for something. Which she was. A few weeks ago, Pinky had made an announcement that she was opening a new bakery in Ponyville. Every pony was overjoyed at the news, but their smiles soon morphed into confused frowns once Pinky said that her business partner was Rainbow Dash. Her only explanation was, It turns out she's not as bad as baking as you think. Every pony was still a bit confused, but after tasting the amazing treats that were made in the new bakery, they seemed to forget all about it. The bakery became a massive hit almost immediately, with every review being positive. Twilight was proud of her friends for such accomplishments, but the question kept circling in her head. I wouldn't be able to make the bakery knowing their interests. Rainbow Dash didn't know the first thing about baking. Plus, she'd rather clear clouds from the sky all day than spend her time baking, and Pinky was all about baking. It was a mystery of how they got along so well, so Twilight decided that after getting a little bite to eat, she'd have to speak to the chefs. After what had seemed like hours, Twilight finally got to the new bakery. The title, Rainbow Cupcakes, was in neon lights above the entrance. Twilight walked right in, a little bell dinging as she opened the door. A noisemaker screamed in Twilight's face, making her jump. Hi, Twilight! Pinky exclaimed, pulling the noisemaker from her lips to greet the princess. She eyed the alicorn's startled expression. Sorry if I scared you there, Pinky said, rubbing her hoof on her neck. I'm guessing you're here to eat some tasty treats? Twilight shook the shocked expression from her face. Yeah. She said, That's exactly what I came here for. What do you guys have? Well, we're serving a new flavor of cupcake. Pinky beamed, ushering Twilight to take a seat. Little liar, or as I like to call it, liar liar hooves on fire. Twilight chuckled as she sat down. <laughs> I guess I'll have that then. Pinky zoomed off to the kitchen. Twilight looked around the room. The interior was full of colors. The walls were light pink, close to Pinky's coat color, with a few bright pink lines scattered around. The ceiling was light blue with rainbows. It was a cute design and Twilight couldn't help but grin at the work. Twilight shook her head. Remember why you're here, Twilight. She reminded herself. Order up! Rainbow Dash exclaimed, flying out of the kitchen with minty green and white cupcakes on a plate. She zoomed across the room to Twilight and gingerly placed the plate of cupcakes on her table. Hey, Twilight! Dash said as she saw her friend. I'm guessing you heard the rumors about how totally awesome our bakery is? She asked excitedly. Twilight bit into one of the cupcakes with delight. Well, I actually came to ask you and Pinky, mmm, a question. Mmm, this is so good. Twilight answered as she swallowed the cupcake. Oh, and what's that? Rainbow asked, smiling cockily at the alicorn. How did you two make this bakery together exactly? I feel like we haven't been given a good explanation. Rainbow hesitated to answer the question. Um, well... Dashie, Pinky said, laying a hoof on Rainbow's shoulder. She wants to know. Rainbow sighed. <sighs> Alright, but... We can't tell you here. It's kind of private. Twilight raised an eyebrow. What could be so private about having a business partner? Reluctantly, she followed the two. Twilight soon realized she was being led to the basement. Unlike the rest of the building, which was bright, the basement was very dark. So dark that she could barely even see in front of her. She tried using a light spell, but Rainbow Dash held her hoof up to Twilight's horn before she could do anything. Okay. Pinky finally spoke. What you're about to see may surprise you, but don't worry, it's normal for ponies like you. What do you mean by- Before Twilight could even finish her sentence, the light turned on, blinding the princess temporarily. As her vision started to come back, she looked around the room to see blood. Most of the room was painted in the crimson color, coating the floor and walls. 
Before Twilight could scream, Rainbow knocked her out, hitting the back of her head with her hoof. The last thing Twilight saw before blacking out was Pinky's poofy hair starting to deflate. You know, I still don't get why they call the hacksaw, well, a hacksaw! I don't hack with it! <laughs> Good point. In my opinion, it should be called... Um... A saw? Twilight heard the voices of her two friends in front of her, talking about nothing in particular. She opened her eyes and realized that she couldn't move. She had figured that she was hung up on the wall. Twilight saw her friends, but not in the way she was used to. Pinky's mane was straight, as if she had brushed the curl out of it. She was also wearing a dress that looked like it was made from random little patches of cloth. The dress also had a few things displayed on the back. Rainbow Dash wore a white coat splattered with different colors. Both of them seemed to have evil looks on their faces. When they noticed Twilight had woken up, Pinky beamed. Finally! You're awake! I thought for a second Dashie had killed you! Twilight looked at the party pony with fear and confusion. What's going on? Why am I tied to the wall? Well, Twilight... You know how he said the reason we work together is secret? Dash asked. Yeah? This is why! Pinky said. You see, Twilight, we found out that we had a lot in common, so we decided to take that to our advantage. Well, how does that have to do with the fact that I'm on the wall? Twilight snapped. Pinky giggled. <laughs> we both like killing! Twilight's eyes turned into pinpricks once Pinky said that sentence. Slowly, her frown curled up into an awkward grin. Alright, Carols, you got me! <laughs> Twilight laughed awkwardly. But don't you think it's a bit too far? Twilight, this isn't a prank! Pinky exclaimed, keeping her wide smile. Did you really forget what you saw before Dashie knocked you out? Honestly? I think an egghead like you would have been smart enough to remember that. It started flooding back. The blood she saw in the basement. It looked too real to be fake. Then she realized. The patches on Pinky's dress weren't cloth, but cutie marks of different ponies. Twilight started screaming at the top of her lungs. Her screaming was cut short when Dash put her hoof on Twilight's mouth, keeping her from saying anything else. I'm guessing you have a lot of questions, Twy, but don't worry. We'll be sure to answer all of them. This will be your last day alive anyways. Pinky said, grabbing a knife in her mouth and starting to walk towards Twilight. No, no, please. Twilight begged. Don't do this. I don't know what I did to deserve this. Twilight screamed in pain. She felt the knife go into her flank and circle around her cutie mark. Why don't you start the story, Dashy? Pinky said, looking over at her partner in crime. I'll do the rest of the story once your turn comes. Well, Twy, you know how I used to work in the weather factory in a rainbow production? Well... Rainbow Dash looked over the facility, making sure no pony was slacking off on their job. Four years. She had worked in this factory for four years, ever since she performed her second Sonic Rainboom. She would go out and visit her friends from time to time, but she knew that she could never leave the factory. Suddenly, something interrupted her thoughts. Hey, ma'am? A worker called to the Blue Pegasus. Dash jumped slightly. What is it? She said in annoyance. You have a letter. The worker replied, pulling out an envelope from a pocket in his white coat. He hoofed it to her. Who's it from? Um, some pony Punky? Rainbow rolled her eyes. <sighs> Pinky. She reluctantly opened the envelope, taking out the paper inside it. 
Her eyes followed the words on the paper. Dear Dashy, it's been a really, really, really long time since me or any pony else has seen you in Ponyville. So why don't you come on over to Sugar Cube Corner? I have a surprise for you. Your best friend forever, Pinkie Pie. Dash rolled her eyes. She was about to tell the worker to throw the letter in the trash, but then she thought about it a little. Pinkie does have bright colors. Perfect to test the machine out on something other than Pegasi. Tell the other workers that I'm taking a break. Dash said, buffing the letter back to the worker. I've got a pony to visit. Dash took off her bloody coat and flew out of the factory, taking off towards Ponyville. Dash noticed a few things had changed since the last time she was here. Plus, she could tell that some of the residents were looking up at her curiously, probably because she was gone for so long. Some even came up to talk to her, asking why Rainbow's been away. She ignored every pony. Dash had only one pony in mind to talk to. She landed right in front of Sugar Cube Corner, looking up and down at the cakey building. She took a deep breath. <sighs> Alright, Dash. Just go in, get her trust, and trick her into coming to Cloudsdale. Simple as that! Dash opened the door and walked in. Dashy! Pinkie Pie pounced on the Pegasus, screaming her name in excitement. I'm so, 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 so glad that you were able to come! Yep! Rainbow Dash gasped out, trying to get out of the pink pony's tight embrace. <laughs> I'm glad to. Um, now, what did you want to show me? Well... Pinkie bounced toward the oven. I've been trying different methods of baking. I'm not sure if it tastes good or not, so I decided, why don't I have one of my friends do a taste test? <laughs> Pinky chuckled, taking a tray out of the oven. <laughs> and I thought you'd be the best one to do it, so have a bite! Pinky held out the cupcakes to her friend, as if she was a princess passing the air down to Dash. Rainbow reluctantly took one of the cupcakes off the plate and took a bite. Do you feel anything? Pinky said grinning widely as the Pegasus munched on the cake. No, but this is pretty good. I need to- Dash then felt something in her mouth. Something hard. She spat it out on the ground to see what it was. It was a round, white pill. A sleeping pill? Why would you put a sleeping pill on a cupcake? Rainbow exclaimed. Um, for ponies who have trouble sleeping? It's a nighttime cupcake! Pinky suddenly shoved another cupcake into Dash's mouth before she spat it out again. What are you doing? Are you trying to poison me? Rainbow Dash cried. You know I would never do that, Dashy. You're my friend! Pinky inched closer to Dash, who had backed away from the pink pony. Her mane was starting to deflate and the color of her mane and coat became darker. Come on, Dashy, you trust me, right? Before Pinkie Pie could get any closer, Rainbow punched her in the face, knocking her out. <sighs> Finally. Rainbow thought. Gosh, I didn't think Pinkie would try to poison me. Whatever, I'll be able to get her to the factory now, and that's what matters. Suddenly, Something pulled on Dash's hoof, knocking her down. Did you really think I would go down that easily? I'm stronger than you, you know. Pinky towered over Dash, her tone angry, but her crazed smile remained. Get away from me, you creep! Rainbow cried, backing away from Pinky. I can't let you go now. You've already seen too much. You'll tell every pony about what I tried to do to you. I won't! I promise! In fact, I kill ponies too! Hold still, Twilight. You're not making this any easier. Pinky struggled as the alicorn shook violently, trying to get Pinky to stop. The earth pony was now trying to chop off the horn to the now wingless pony. Rainbow! Why don't you take over? This is getting tiring. I'll 
finish the story. Rainbow sighed. All right. Rainbow Dash took the knife from Pinky and tried to finish the job. Why? <laughs> Twilight said through screams and cries. Why are you ah, doing this? What did I ever do? do? <laughs> you didn't do anything, Twilight. Pinky answered. But you wanted to know, so here you go. Now, where was I? Oh, right. So, I guess you could say I was pretty surprised after hearing that from Dashy. You what? Pinky stared at Rainbow Dash in shock. The Pegasus covered her mouth. I, um, you, you are that wrong. I... Dashy, you really think I'd tell any pony you do the same thing as me? Of course not. This stays between you and me. Dash smiled slightly. Uh, thanks, Pinky. So, why did you want to poison me exactly? Well, it's kind of a long story. Pinky explained everything, from finding out how good ponies tasted in cupcakes, to using numbers to pick out the ponies she'd use in cupcakes. The fact she explained it all in her usual joyful manner was a bit unsettling. She would even chuckle at a few parts she thought was funny. All Rainbow Dash could say after the explanation was a simple, Wow! So, what do you do, Dashy? Pinky asked. Oh, well, you know how I was hired to work with rainbows a few years ago? Well, we get young Pegasi who fail their flight tests and turn them into rainbows. Pinky shook her head in surprise. Wait, what? Isn't that a bit discriminatory for ponies who can't fly correctly? I mean, sure, I kill ponies at random, but not because there's something wrong with them. Well, if Pegasi can't fly correctly, we don't really have any need for them. Dash replied. Hmm, I guess that kind of makes sense. Pinky then perked up. Her deflated mane bounced back up as if it was a balloon filling with helium. Actually, while you're here, want to help me make cupcakes? I was actually working on cupcakes from a different pony, but I haven't finished it yet. Rainbow thought a bit. Okay, but I can't stay long. The factory workers will wonder where I've gone after a while. Why don't you just quit your job? I mean, who wants to be paid killing ponies? That's kind of... hypocritical, Pinky. You sell cupcakes made of ponies. Whatever! Pinkie Pie turned to walk to the island, but then got an idea. So, how do you make ponies into rainbows anyways? Well, we get a machine that sucks the color out of them and grinds them up in the process. Why? Great! I've been having a lot of trouble making the colors of the icing match the pony they're made from, but with your help, I can get the actual colors! Rainbow Dash hesitated. Uh, um... Well, I can't really get the machine all the way from Cloudsail and bring it down here. Pinky pouted at the response. Hmm. Oh. But I could get a syringe we use if the machines don't work. They set the colors right out! Pinky beamed again. That's great! Go get it, Dashy! We're gonna finish those cupcakes! Rainbow Dash hesitated to take off. Pinky, I don't really think I should be doing this. I could get in trouble at the factory. Or even become a rainbow myself. Not if you quit, that is. Pinky piped. Like I said, you can just quit. Now go! Dash decided that there was no way she could convince the party pony otherwise. So off she went. On the way, she thought about the decision. Well, honestly, it's not the best job. The workers are probably the worst part. I mean, when I first joined, they yelled at me constantly. Dash kept thinking about this as she snuck into the factory, trying to get a syringe. She tried to remember where they were usually put. Maybe... the tools room? Dash opened the door to the room where all the extra tools are kept for safekeeping. She looked around the pitch black room. Hopefully one day these idiots will install some lights in this dumb room. 
Rainbow Dash thought to herself. After a bit of searching, she was able to find a syringe. Dash was just about to sneak back out when some pony caught her. Oh hey, you're back already? It was the pony who had given Dash the letter from Pinky. Hi! Rainbow Dash exclaimed, quickly hiding the syringe behind her back. She gave the Pegasus an awkward grin. I just came over to pick something up, so I can't stay too long. <laughs> uh, not to sound mean or anything, but you're acting pretty weird. Is everything okay? Rainbow Dash tried to think up an excuse, but it was no use. Dash had to spill the beans. Ugh, I'm quitting. I have other ideas. The Pegasus Dash was talking to was shocked. But you're the best worker in this factory. Why would you quit? What? That's not what happened. Dash said, stabbing adrenaline into Twilight like it was nothing. I just snuck in, got the syringe, and got out of there. It's called making a longer story, Dashy, and don't get distracted. I'd rather have you keep the story accurate. Now get to the point. At this rate, Twilight will die before you can finish. Okay, okay. Anyways. Yay, you got it! Pinky exclaimed excitedly as her friend came back to Sugar Cube Corner. So now what do we do? Dash asked. Pinky looked around to make sure no one was watching. Come on, to the basement! Pinky bounced to the door in the back of the bakery, Rainbow following close behind. As the duo opened the door, Dash realized how much darker the basement was compared to the rest of the building. Dash was caught off guard when a light suddenly turned on, making the basement bright as the sun. Dash looked back over to Pinky to see that her bouncy mane deflated again. Rainbow Dash backed up, knowing her past experience with Pinky's mane being down. Don't worry, Dashy! <laughs> Pinky giggled. My mane doing this is basically automatic once I go down there. At one end of the room laid a corpse of a white unicorn with a pink mane. I was having some success, but none of the pink frosting is the exact color of the pony's mane. So, mind doing the honors, Dashy? Rainbow Dash trotted up to the pony corpse with her syringe and stabbed it. All of the color drained right out of the corpse, leaving nothing but a colorless husk. Pinky swiped the syringe out of Rainbow's hoof the second it was filled up. Pinky then went back upstairs to the kitchen and filled the frosting with the pink color of the pony's mane. Perfect! Pinky exclaimed. It's so perfect! Glad I can help Pinky. Dash said. Now, I better go back to the factory. What? Pinky screamed, grabbing Rainbow Dash's tail before she could fly away. Don't go! you to help me make cupcakes. Without you, I'll be a disaster. Ah, oh, Pinky. It's just a change in color. No one will ever know it came from a pony anyways. Pinky looked up at her friend with pleading eyes. Please? And then Dashy said yes, and we started working together, and then we got the best idea. What if we made our own restaurant? And the rest is history. Pinky finished watching Twilight struggle to stay awake. <laughs> don't beat yourself up, Twy. Dash said. I'm sure you're gonna make a lot of ponies happy, even when you're gone. So Dashy, what do you think her cupcake should be called? How about... Egghead Extra? Pinky and Rainbow's laughter echoed throughout the room. Twilight thought about the events that had gotten her here. That one question in her mind was answered, but it costed her life. The answer wouldn't be known for long as Twilight slowly closed her eyes, giving in to the pain that came at the cost of only one question. I won't be able to make the bakery knowing their interests. The last thing Twilight ever heard was the crazed <laughs> laughter of the ones who killed her. <laughs> <laughs> Your beer, it's so delicious. 
I can't wait to have more of it.